Thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in under 5 minutes a day. Today we will stray from the ACS for a moment and cover a concept fundamental in the calculation of performance data, pressure altitude. Pressure altitude is defined as the altitude based on standard atmosphere at which the pressure would be the same as the existing pressure. Standard pressure at sea level is 29.92 inches of mercury and decreases by 1 inch per thousand feet above sea level. At standard atmosphere, we find a pressure of 28.92 inches of mercury at an altitude of 1,000 feet MSL, 27.92 inches at 2,000 feet MSL, and so on. Finding pressure altitude is as simple as finding the expected pressure based on standard atmosphere. If we expect to find a pressure of 29.92 inches mercury at sea level, then based on a pressure of 29.92, our pressure altitude would be 0 feet. At 2892, we have a pressure altitude of 1,000 feet. 2792 is 2,000 feet pressure altitude, and so on. Based on all of this, there are three important things to keep in mind. A current pressure of 29.92 results in a pressure altitude of 0. Pressure altitude is the altitude that we would expect to find a pressure setting at. A lower pressure setting is expected at a higher altitude, therefore a lower pressure results in a higher pressure altitude. How much higher? That brings us to the third point. Every 0.01 inch loss of pressure results in a 10 foot increase in pressure altitude. We will find pressure altitude based on nearest available altimeter setting using the formula shown. We will find our altimeter setting in the nearest METAR or ATIS and our true altitude based on the performance calculation being performed. Pressure altitude equals 29.902 minus current altimeter setting all times 1000 plus true altitude. We will perform an example pressure altitude calculation below. In this example, we will find pressure altitude necessary to calculate takeoff distance. Because we are calculating takeoff distance, we should find the current pressure altitude at the runway surface. Let's assume the METAR is reporting an altimeter setting of 30.14 at an airport with a field elevation of 632 feet MSL. Based on the current altimeter setting of 3014, we find that, after some simple arithmetic, we will add negative 220 to our airport elevation of 632 feet. This results in a pressure altitude of 412 feet. To find pressure altitude for cruise data in the same area, assuming we have the same altimeter setting still, we would simply want to add that value of negative 220 we found from our desired cruise altitude rather than from the airport elevation. If we are planning to fly over the airport at 3,500 feet MSL, we can calculate our cruise data based on a pressure altitude of negative 220 plus 3,500, or 3,280 feet pressure altitude. That's really all there is to it. As long as you can find your altimeter setting and true altitude and plug them into this formula, you can calculate pressure altitude. A shortcut would be to set the aircraft's altimeter to a barometric pressure of 29.92 and read the pressure altitude displayed on the altimeter. I hope that this helps clear up any confusion about pressure altitude. Thank you very much for watching. If any further questions exist, please leave them below in the comments section. If you found the video helpful, I hope that you might like it or share it along to someone else who might benefit from watching. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos, and remember to hit the bell button next to the subscribe button for notifications. Thanks again, and safe flying.